Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a Q&A video. Uh, I really wanted to end my Diva Log series with a Q&A video because um, yeah, I think it's personal and I wanted to end this on a personal note. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I asked you guys to ask me questions on Instagram. If you guys haven't been following me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram. Uh, that would mean a lot to me. So yeah, uh, let's just start with the Q&A. Now I'm not going to be answering the regular questions with my YouTube journey and how I started it. Uh, because I have already answered uh, those in my previous Q&A videos so if you haven't watched my previous Q&A video I will uh, link it in the description bar below or I'll also put it up here you can go ahead and watch those videos if you haven't already they are a little too old but yeah I think my answers would be the same how to manage frizzy hair make sure that you're oiling your hair regularly you are drinking coconut water if you can tender coconut water that's amazing drink a lot of water eat a lot of fruits uh, these are the things that you can do uh, to fix it internally that would be great uh, to talking about what you can do externally uh, maybe go in with a mask the one mask that I I personally have used and that has helped my hair a lot and the texture oh my god it has improved so 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 much I uh, I think I only did it for a year but I used to do it every week okay so for the mask you'll need uh, mayonnaise uh, put some oil or uh, you can uh, put your parachute hair oil any oil that you want put one egg. don't put the yellow part only the white like uh, you know egg white and uh, yeah just mix it and like apply it on your hair and just that mask oh my god is going to improve your hair texture so 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 much uh why do you don't stay with your family uh, okay the reason i don't stay with my family is because back when i used to live with my family um you know i did not really have the freedom to do things how i would like to do them like uh, if i were to film a video i had to ask my mom to not talk and i had to ask my dad not to watch anything on his phone or on the tv and i really did not like that i mean i wanted my free and I just wanted my own space where I lived we did not really have a lot of natural lighting and I wanted to shift to a place where you know there was a lot, a lot of natural light coming in and uh, yeah as you know I have like really huge <laughs> windows so that really helped me with the light and everything which I really like so yeah that's majorly my reason do you like uh, to watch movies if yes or uh, which is which movie is your favorite oh I love to watch movies I mean I, I really like, in fact, uh, I'm the kind of person who prefers movies over sitcoms and just series because I, series, it's I just feel it's so much to catch up on it and with movies, it's fine. Like you can just sit and watch a movie in just one go and that's that's really nice. Uh, if you were to ask me what's my favorite movie, uh, like romantic favorite movie, I would say Eternal Sunshine of uh, Spotless Minds. It's a pretty good watch. Definitely watch it. Um, how to stay motivated okay this is something that I personally have struggled a lot this entire year uh, like I can't even tell you I have been so off with my YouTube um, and with the posting and everything I think I haven't really been consistent so I have struggled a lot uh, but what has worked for me is just acting on things uh, you know what needs to be done like just executing it right away um, like making a to-do list and then being like okay this needs to be get done and i'm going to make sure that i'm getting it done first 10 minutes you'll dread it but the next 20 minutes me you'll be like oh good that i'm getting things done and you'll be like more feeling good and like feeling motivated and you'll keep at it you know and other things that have helped me is like motivational videos and uh, listening to a lot of podcasts i think yeah hearing good things in the morning and journaling has also helped me uh, whenever i like you know achieve something i reflect on it and i feel really good that oh i could do that and then that makes me feel better and puts me in a better spot and i'm like oh now i'm like looking forward to doing this more often or just doing it better the next time so try that maybe that should help you how did your parents allow you to stay alone in your studio um okay honestly uh i don't think so there was a lot of convincing to do here um because when i spoke to my parents i told them like i told them uh, that this is what i need to do and like i honestly looked at it as suppose i were to work in like pune or bangalore or some just other city and my parents would have let me go right so i explained them the same thing at least here i'll be like uh, you know living just 20 minutes away so i explained them that this is important this is my career and this is it really is something that i need to do and they were pretty cool and they were they understood it like as i said it was nothing to like you know allowing me because um thankfully like i do have my shit together so they don't really 
say a lot you know what i'm trying to say your cast this i get so much yaar are you from obc category or which category i am an i am from open category and i'm a 96k maratha shanakuri maratha that's what my cast is have you ever tried learning a foreign language no but i really want to i want to learn spanish i also really want to learn french and there was this uh, point during lockdown where i really wanted to learn korean as well so i do want to learn for foreign languages they also like help you you like uh, help your brain muscles a lot where do you see yourself 5 years from now um i honestly see myself being happy and uh, yeah being peaceful i know when you like hear these answers you're like what i can even tell you that oh i see myself owning a business owning like so many houses so many cars but at the end of the day okay yeah i do own all of that but i'm not happy then what i think this year i've struggled with happiness so much and just the peace of mind that Uh, in this very moment i truly just want to be happy and i want my peace of mind even right now 5 years down the line 60 60 years down the line that's all that i really want happy doing what i'm doing even if i'm owning peanuts that's okay even if i'm doing nothing that's okay whatever i'm doing even even if i'm doing great amazingly well amazing but just happiness and peace of mind is what i want how much time did it take to cross 1000 subscribers I think it it took me about 7 months. Yeah. It took me 7 months to get 1000 subscribers. How are you mentally? Firstly, thank you so much for asking. That's very kind of you. Um I want to say today right now in this very moment I'm fine. I'm happy and uh yeah, I'm grateful. But if you ask me how have I been throughout this year? Oh my god. <laughs> I can't even begin to tell you how difficult it was or what a roller coaster ride it was but it's fine so many ups and downs and i have come out of it and yeah i just feel stronger and happier um, not happier but just happy but yeah i'm fine i'm doing fine i hope you guys are also doing well like mentally i really want to talk about mental health a lot on my channel uh, but yeah let's see what made you start a youtube channel uh, i wanted to start my youtube channel in 2012 can you guys believe it uh, i had this one friend who had his youtube channel back then and uh, he used to make like Six dollars or something like that, and he used to tell me about it all the time. And I always felt like, oh my god, this is so cool, and I want to do this. I was just too shy to put myself out there, and it took me a lot of time and a lot of courage uh, to put myself out there. So I finally started my channel in 2017. So yeah, five years of that decision making. Chala, why don't you try for patience? You're amazing. Oh, you are amazing. I can't honestly. I mean, I feel like firstly, I think I, I'm a little too short. uh to to be trying for patience in collaborations with small unknown brands really helps as help you and it also helps the brand because um if you are just starting out this is a great way of getting into the uh, you know field and just the industry and uh, showcase yourself uh, you can probably try reaching out to smaller brands if obviously their i whatever their clothing items or whatever that is if that resonates with your style you can go ahead and do that and uh, obviously if you provide like good content more brands are going to come in so that is a good way of starting out i would say but just make sure that whatever you're doing uh, you don't lose your authenticity in that uh, please drop your fitness routine honestly i cannot like i mean i don't think so i'm the right person to like drop a fitness routine as such but what i can tell you is the way you look constitutes of your diet and your fit like workout so make sure that your diet like 80% of it is diet so make sure that you're eating right you're eating clean 20% is just workout so yeah so what i honestly do is i skip every day so i skip for like 10 minutes then uh twice a week i would do uh, some kind of high intensity cardio workout and then one day i'll do legs one day i'll do abs and one day that is remaining some days i'll do surya namaskars or uh, some days i'll just skip that day skip as in not skip it skip as in skipping karke i'll skip that day वैसे uh so yeah that's that's literally what i do few things on your bucket list okay i if i were to tell you three of them i really want to witness northern lights i want to scuba dive and uh, the third thing that i want to do i just want to eat pasta in paris seeing eiffel tower if that makes sense you have really perfect and beautiful body why don't you love that much when have i said that i don't love my body i don't think so i have mentioned it uh, ever and 
I think when whenever I have mentioned or spoken about my body a certain way, like how I don't like my hips or something like that, it may come off as I I don't like my body or I don't love it. But that's not how it is. I think I do work out and I eat good and I don't drink alcohol and I do so many things. Like I don't smoke. Do so do like so many things for my body, which only I know. So that's like literally me saying it out loud that I love myself and I love my body. So yeah, I I do love my body. Yeah. Where do you see summer in next five years? Good question. Uh, next five years, uh, probably studying, pursuing something, some course maybe abroad. Yeah, in next five years, changes in your lifestyle during lockdown. I think uh, my lifestyle has always been like this. But I think if there's one thing, the biggest change uh, that I personally have made uh, during lockdown is I started working out every single day, which I think I used to. I did not. I wouldn't say I used to work out, but I used to run earlier every single day. Then I started like working out, like properly working out, and yeah, that has to be the biggest change in my lifestyle. <laughs> Your favorite YouTuber, you are mine. Thank you. That means so much to me. Um, my favorite YouTuber. Um, okay, I don't have one. Particular YouTuber that I look up to and I love, but uh, yeah, there are like a lot of people that I d admire their work. Like I really like Best Dressed. I have been actually following her when she was like pretty underrated and she did not have as many subscribers. And you know, I saw this meme the other day when it's like, oh, when you know, there's a song that only you listen to, and suddenly. Like it just gets viral and everyone starts listening it to listening to it and you are like oh my god like you know you feel all jealous when that happened with Ashley that's exactly what I felt I'm like oh my god it's like I used to watch her content now everyone's watching her content which is great but there's just something that I felt so I really like her I also like um, Avery I like uh, I mean I like a lot of like Firang uh, YouTubers I also like Aspen Aspen I have been liking her since a really like I follow her since a really really long time and I really like her what do you think made you prominent in this industry uh, and grow at such a good rate what industry are you talking about if you're talking about YouTube or Instagram I don't know but if you're talking about uh, YouTube I would say um, just being myself I don't think so I have tried being someone else on my YouTube channel I'm pretty much the same person um, and uh, yeah I talk about things that resonate with me and my audience like I try to talk about those things so with YouTube I would say being myself and just being my authentic self like that that is what I would say with Instagram I would just say uh, you know experimenting with my aesthetics it has it has changed a lot over a period of time and uh, yeah i just i've just kept experimenting and tried pushing myself a lot uh, be it uh, with my editing game be it uh, with the locations and everything so with the, uh, instagram i would say experimenting and with youtube i would say yeah being myself how many photos do you have and big fan please reply okay right now on my phone i have 20643 uh, <laughs> photos can you believe it i have 20000 photos oh my god that's like a lot marriage plans no marriage plans <laughs> anytime soon maybe like in two two years yeah two three years when was the last time you cried and the reason behind it uh i don't remember so when was the last time i cried oh the other day when i fought with summer uh, it was a sunday and me and Samantha were fighting yeah that day uh, i cried because Samantha was giving me a tough tough time that day so yeah okay how do you disinfect your packages okay so Samad has made this solution which is like 80% water and 20% of Dettol and we just uh, spits that on our packages keep them uh, in the hoop for some time and then just we just open it you could go back in time what would you tell yourself three years back okay oh my god this I would firstly if I can I would really hug myself like you know baby Harshala three years back I would really hug her and tell her that it's going to be okay and she really doesn't have to like be as insecure about herself because uh, of what she went through which I can't really talk about but yeah just three years back Harshala went through a lot of things uh, and she wasn't as happy but yeah I'm really proud of her for what she has done and yeah I, I would just probably tell her not to be as insecure uh just go with the flow and um 
keep doing what she's doing probably try and work harder on her youtube channel which she did not do but everything else i think i'm pretty proud of her for everything that she has done over these three years but um, yeah and i think i don't say it out loud as often as i would like to like that i'm proud of myself but i think if you guys are also not doing that you guys should do that tell yourself that you're proud of yourself because i think we all are struggling and we all are going through so many things big or small whatever that is but you should definitely celebrate yourself and your victories so yeah i would just like hug her i how i wish i can actually go back in time and like hug myself and be like oh it's going to be okay just just keep at it Does you and your brother stay together at your place? By the way, I love you. I love you more, but Samarth and I don't live together. He visits me every day though, because otherwise I'd go crazy in this isolation. And right now he is also uh, not doing much. I mean, he just has like online lectures. So whenever he gets free, he comes and visits me, which is really good because honestly, that's like my only outlet at the moment. I'm not able to see a lot of people. I'm not able to meet my friends. So yeah, I really appreciate and I'm extremely thankful and grateful that I have him. Um, again, it's something that I have also learned in this entire year is the you know like value of family and uh, your family members. Yeah, family comes first always. I mean, I always knew that. This year, I just realized it so much more. I feel. Will you be making a vlog on Diwali celebration with your family for your Marathi channel? That's a great idea, and I think I should definitely do that. So I think that was it for today's video. Uh, those are all the questions that I am going to be answering today. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I think I should do this more often. Hope you liked this video. If you did, then you know the drill: like, share, comment, and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It would mean the world to me. And uh, yeah, we are done with all our Diva Log videos, and that's it. Today is the last video. I will be posting. Um, I think I will try and post one video on my Marathi channel. but otherwise i think i'm directly going to post next week and yeah i'm going to be taking a week's break and then going to come back with amazing content for you guys so stay tuned for that and yeah i'll see you next time bye